Oh, this is part two. So here we go. I'll start off by showing a few stickers I got in. Um, that's always appreciated. So still got plenty of space in the beer fridge to cover up along with whatever's near it down there in the dungeon. Um, I got in a ne Neon Eagle video, um, which is really cool. It's another one of those uh, companies that are doing exciting things. So um, yeah, didn't have one from them. So I was not expecting that with my order. So always appreciate that so cool it's a awesome looking sticker so love that very cool so i'll definitely use that one and then with my order i last time i checked they didn't have my size but that's been a while so i checked again they had my size and they also sent a cool sticker i visited this place a few times in my life uh just an amazing awesome place to visit if you're in or near the seattle washington scarecrow video so I'll definitely be rocking that on the beer fridge uh, for sure. So hopefully you guys can hear me. There's construction going on. Uh, it's just right outside my, my window. Uh, they're having to redo um, pretty much all the streets around here, which the streets were fine, but I guess it's just that time for them to redo them. So the city sends them out and all the streets get repaved. Uh, so that's what's going on. Hopefully you guys can hear me well enough. Um, I, I try to speak up. I am a little bit soft sounding kind of but anyway I'm rambling so cool get that and then this is what I ordered uh, I, I have I have one of their shirts when I was there when I was, at, was actually there um, I was able to grab one of their shirts uh, some years back but I always wanted a, a hoodie and they just never I shouldn't say never just at the time they didn't have uh, my size in so I checked online uh, recently and they finally had them finally had uh, my size and so I'll be rocking that once the uh, cooler once the cooler months hit so obviously I can do it now but I didn't have a nice black hoodie so why not rock a scarecrow video and so do that all right on to the movies so yeah this is part two so guys I appreciate your time so here we go uh, so this one was okay 65 I didn't mind it um, I wanted, uh, if I'm going to be honest, I wanted more uh, creature action, more dinosaur terror action. Uh, the ending was okay. Um, there are some dinosaurs in here uh, that he mainly fights besides the T-Rex that I was not familiar with. I don't know if those that type of breed of dinosaur was just made up just to, for this movie, but I, as a kid growing up, I pretty much... Uh, got into dinosaurs heavily and uh, did a lot of research on it um, <laughs> shouldn't say research but you guys know what I mean um, but I just didn't remember seeing that kind of dinosaur with that funky sort of torso design that was uh, I don't know whether that was made up for this movie or not but that, those dinosaurs seemed pretty new to me but if you guys seen this you know what I'm talking about uh, anyway the movie was uh, not bad you know it was all right uh, I was just hoping more action, more crazy prehistoric insects and stuff. I mean, you can do it with this premise, you could do so much more. But uh, yeah, I was all right. Not bad. 65. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. <laughs> Try. So, um, next up is the Adam Rifkin um, Film, yeah, Film Festival collection. This is all his earlier works so that he did as a kid back in the 70s. Uh, some of the short movies that he had, he had made when he was a kid seemed to be a lot of fun. I want to check them out. He tried to make some horror films and whatnot in his backyard and along with other stuff that I could tell from the trailer. So could not resist. Had to get this. Uh, I believe this is a sort of a part documentary as well. Um, yeah, just all doing it on a grainy Super 8. So, what are the... Uh, I love that old school mo and movie art. That's what it reminds me of, especially on a lot of the uh, comedy movies back in the day. That's That reminds me of that. Sort of that. Or you look in Mad Comics or Cracked or something. Kind of reminds me of all that stuff. So cool. Got that in. Right, check that out. Uh, I watched this again recently and I almost fell asleep. I'm a fan of this movie, so I hate to say that, but... Um, yeah, it had been some years since I had watched this. I watched it again, and uh, man, I just, 
the long part of it that uh, drags a bit, but I love this movie. I love the way the creature, the monster looks with its sort of wonky looking design. And they cleaned up this movie a lot and you can, now you can easily see like the wires holding it up and it's, that's crazy, but unintentionally funny in some scenes, especially with the snake, uh, the venomous cobras, I think that one scene is hilarious. I still laugh to that. But yeah, Alien from the Abyss, happy to upgrade. Uh, yeah, gotta have it. So that's from uh, Severin. Another company making things exciting. Uh, and then this one uh, seemed very interesting. The uh, Apocalypse Tetralogy. So four films uh, by this director who I've never even heard of. Uh, so he is completely new to me. Uh, very much so. So I cannot resist when reading up on these movies, doing a little research. And uh, nowadays all these nice edition, collector's editions come with them. Might as well call them books, really. Nice little pamphlet of the essay for each movie. I love this design, that's pretty, that's pretty sweet. There's the, what you get, the films you get. War of the Worlds is like a part two. I don't know if it's really connected to the OG or not. But, um, Galam, Golem, excuse me, ugh, brain fart. Uh, from 1980, The War of the Worlds, Next Century, 1981. Obi, o Obi, o Oba, The End of Civilization, 1984. Gaga, Glory to the Heroes, 1985. And then you got a ton of special features. So these movies seem really bizarre and out there and it's a lot of fun, so. Hadn't seen a single one of these, so. And that is exciting. So not everything is like upgrades and whatnot. Get some new things added onto the shelves. That's what it's about with, uh, at least for me with this hobby. So pretty cool. Look forward to checking that out. So yeah, don't know much about the director. Big time newbie on that guy. All right, and I couldn't resist. Uh, Abraxas, had to get it. Uh, another one that's unintentionally hilarious. So, I had to get Jesse Ventura. So, decided to step up and be a patriot <laughs> and uh, order me a copy. So, there you go. Uh, upgrade from the DVD, which I had tracked down that DVD uh, sometime last year. So, uh, I believe this is the one that actually has sequels. I could be wrong, but I think it's like two more sequels to this one. Unless I'm thinking of another indie uh, low-budget vampire movie, but I believe it's at dawn they sleep. I think it's this one that actually has sequels. Um, bonus movie: Reap of Evil, 94 minutes. Brian Pollitt's debut, 1994. Sob Gore epic. That's awesome. Um, Cool. Comes with a bonus movie, Reap of Evil. I remember reading up on that, but it's been a, it's been a minute, guys. I'm trying to remember all this. Um, but yeah, at dawn they sleep. Upgrade from the DVD. Um, DVD had been out for years, um, but it was getting to the point where it was getting hard to find. But none of that matters now. So cool. Some more Brian Pollen, and then uh, also with the movie Reap of Evil. Awesome. Check that out. Very nice edition from Saturn's Core. Love what they do get that I dig that I believe that's new art for that I dig that cool evil <laughs> and then a documentary I'm looking forward to checking out it's got one of my favorite favorite comedians in this is Bill Harder Hatter Hart how do you say his last name I can't ever say it right I need to watch videos of interviews of him just to hear his name being spoken but uh, Bill's in this one of my favorite comedians from like SNL fame so I thought that was cool they got him uh, in to do in with this documentary. So at the video store, looking forward to checking this out. Looks to be a lot of fun. I'm grabbing pretty much all these documentaries dealing with uh, video stores and people's testimonies and their experiences growing up during this sort of, during this, this time. Oh, pretty cool. Bill Hatter, maybe it's Hatter. 
you guys can correct me. Let me know. Let me know if you want. And then Attack of the Demons. Never seen this before. So check that out. <laughs> Dig the artwork. That's a lot of fun. I like the way this is, uh, especially this one's drawn. Melty demon looking thing. Kind of reminds me of a Adult Swim, that kind of art. It's real, what you call it, the lazy hand drawn. Um, and I don't mean that as an insult, um, the term lazy hand. Attack of Demons. Cool. That one is Dark Star Pictures. So many labels. Ah. So many labels. Easy to forget what all's out there nowadays. And then this is amazing. One of my favorite um, Lumberto Bava. Yeah, is that? Yeah, Lumberto Bava movies. Blade in the Dark. Crazy upgrade for me. Uh, I think the only copy I had was uh, the DVD from, I think it was Maya Communications from then. So crazy, crazy, insane edition. So thank you, Vinegar Syndrome. This is, this is insane. Only this company does crazy. <laughs> it's just, it feels like I'm pulling apart like a cheese sandwich or something. Like, you know, I don't know. It's, it's, it's awesome. So, um, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Great Giallo movie. Can never go wrong with some Liber Liberto uh, Bava. Follow me in his father's footsteps. He's being a movie maker. Nice booklet. Pretty cool. Insane. I can't wait to dig into this. Gorgeous. I mean, this an edition like this deserves its own video. I'm being honest. It really does. If I had more time, I'd try and do stuff like that for my channel. Just make one video just on amazing editions like this. Must have movies. So, yeah, A Blade in the Dark. Very cool movie. The sweet ass edition. Jesus. Man, that is absolutely gorgeous. Big time, again, a big time upgrade for me. I've just been rocking the the, the old, uh, I think that was from Anchor Bay years ago, the double feature. It was doubled with Devin's Terror. Upgraded that movie. Now I'm getting around to upgrading uh, The Boogeyman, a movie I really like. Love this weird little movie. And, it, and it's awesome that it's received such a beautiful, nice collector's edition. So patience pays off. <laughs> so... Yeah, big time upgrade for me. Uh, so another DVD, uh, another DVD replaced. So the Boogeyman. Isn't there a Boogeyman part two? I know like years later, there would be a series of movies uh, with the same title, but that's not related to this one. But I thought maybe the OG had a sequel. Maybe not. It's, it's hard to remember everything. I don't think it did. I think it was just that, and that was it. Uh, dang. Uh, never seen uh, Boggy Creek Part 2. Uh, I haven't... I mean, I've read reviews over the years. Um, just being a fan of the first movie. And, uh, yeah, just not a lot of positive things for this movie, for the sequel. It's been made fun of quite a lot over the years. Um... But I just couldn't resist, man. I like all these Sasquatch-themed um, horrors. And this is absolutely... I don't know if they couldn't get the rights to use the original uh, poster art. But they didn't do it. This is close. This is pretty close. Um, but the if I remember, you, you, they were running and they were like... I don't know if they were like hopping over a fence or I can't remember what it was but it was also took place in a field like you see and they were uh I'm just gonna stop anyway 
Uh, but this newly commissioned um, art is absolutely gorgeous. Love the yellow and browns. That's Boggy Creek colors for sure. Uh, so I've never seen the sequel. I'm looking forward to checking it out. I'm sure I'll... Just depends on your mood, you know? I think I'll dig it. So, Boggy Creek Part 2. Um, and the legend continues. So cool. It does have reversible cover art. And from 1983. Comes with a poster, so... I've yet to check out the poster here, so I'll, uh, I'll check that out. Another nice surprise from, uh, Vinegar Syndrome. You gotta be careful to put this in here. There we go. Full patience. Awesome. What's my time looking like? Oh. Ah, bone cold. Um, for most of you, this will be probably just a rental. Um, I say that, but you're all like crazy collectors like me, so I don't even know why I bother to say stuff like that. <laughs> but uh, Bone Cold, uh, I enjoyed most of it. The ending just uh, it pusses out. I wish the ending was. Um, I wish it went to. I wish it went brutal. I wish it went dark. But uh, it's almost like they didn't know what to do, like what kind of ending they wanted to do with it. But uh, I did appreciate the practical effects. Um, I thought the creature suit looked kind of cool, not bad. It's got some good atmosphere, but I just, that ending, man, it just wasn't for me. But Bone Cold, enjoyed it for the most part. I am glad I took a chance on it. But, uh, yeah. Mm, could have been, could have been better. But that's that. Love the setting. It takes place in, like, either in Russia. I believe it was Russia. The Broken Mirror more awesomeness from Mondo Macabro. This one come highly recommended. I talked to a few people. I just wasn't sure about this one, so I figured I'd take a chance. And heard nothing but great things. So, Broken Mirror. Looking forward to uh, yeah, diving in this one for the first time. I don't believe this is an upgrade. It's kind of hard to keep track of what all of I've collected over the years. A Brotherhood of the Wolf. Upgrade to 4K. Cool werewolf movie. Long epic one. Look at that. I got Screen Factory. Yeah. Another one of their 4K upgrades. Brotherhood of the Wolf. The latest, Children of the Corn. I don't remember how many there are now. I think was, are we in the teens? I think that's a <laughs> Maybe it's like the 13th one. There's a lot of them. Um, and I like a few. You know, it's just hit or miss with me. But, um, yeah, Children of the Corn, the latest uh, installment. Um, yeah, this one goes into the creature monster territory. So that'd be cool. Because I'm a, I'm a fan of Part 3. So it's like my favorite out of the bunch is Children of the Corn Part 3. So... Looking forward to checking this out since that's it's going back into the monster uh, territory. Cold Eyes of Fear. Another great movie. An upgrade from the... Uh, it's been on Blu-ray before. I think it was Redemption that had released this. I could be wrong. It's been, it's been a long minute. But uh, this one's coming from Indicator. Fine company. So... Definitely digging what Indicator has been doing lately. And um, someone asked me why I wasn't a fan of this particular design, like this, um, I don't know what you call this, I just say Digibook. It's just, I'm not a fan, I, I, they're nice, don't get me wrong. It's just that if this happens to break, like the spindle gets messed up, you're screwed. You know, that's why I like, uh, just your tip because you can just replace it right you can easily replace this this key case if it breaks you know if these ever break you're, you're screwed so just got to be careful not drop these things so that's really the only reason why i'm not a fan of this design because these aren't cheap you pay good money for these so you just got to be careful 
Um, yeah, cold as a fear. That answers that question. Uh, somebody was asking me why, and that's really that's the only reason why I'm not that biggest fan of that um, the, the digi pack, I mean, whatever you want to call that design. Uh, double feature. Uh, Conquest of Space doubled with I Married a Monster from Outer Space. So, I believe both of these are upgrades for me. So, yeah, another upgrade from DVD. Blu ray double feature. Again, Screen Factory. Pumping out some goodness. Going old school with these 50s or, yeah, 55. Um, and the other one is 58. I like this one though. You have to watch this one. I, have to ha I had this movie several times in my life, but I need to get around to watching that one. This one's a lot of fun. Love that one. And I love the cre uh, the alien design with that one as well. So yeah, upgrade for me from the DVDs. Um, cool. Again, patience pays off. <laughs> uh, concent concentration. Blind buy. Heard good things. So, try to watch this sometime uh, this week if I can. Creep show. Always gonna be after creep show. Got to. So 4K. Creep show finally making the leap to 4K. I love uh, flipping through this uh, awesome cover art. It's got the OG poster with that one. And then, man, this is nostalgic as all get out. You guys remember these the prism stickers that you get at the, like a grocery store i got quite a few of these growing up uh there's a piggly wiggly in a town called vivian that i'd always be um going to i don't know if they still have that piggly wiggly around but yeah vivian just growing up as a kid i'd always get these prism stickers so this definitely hits hard with nostalgia i thought that was cool of screen factory to kind of pay tribute to these old um, gumball machine prism stickers so I won't be, I won't use this. I'll just keep this in here. I think it complements the, uh, this edition. So I was debating on slapping that on the beer fridge, but I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. So prism sticker, those uh, horror prism stickers were pretty cool back then. Uh, movie is great. Gotta, gotta have some creep show. Um, yeah, I almost want to. It's tempting to kind of see how much uh, the uh, those, those old uh, prism stickers go for nowadays, but that's a rabbit hole I don't want to go down. At least not right now. Uh, Creep Show Three upgrade from the DVD as well, and I think me and maybe two other people like this movie. So yeah, I like the. Uh, Forget the, uh, forget the one segment where the boy ends up with the crazy looking jagged teeth. Um, and I like the practical effects used in this. So, yeah, they're just simply using the name to cash in. I'm not, I know that, guys, but I enjoy this for the most part. I've always hated this cover art, though. That's, again, with that, that's terrible. Sorry to the artist that did that. It, opinions man. Everybody's got opinions. It's not badly drawn or anything like that it's just not um anyway i'm rambling creep show creep show three crocodile all these dvd upgrades another movie i really like that is absolutely gorgeous check that out another fun this is made in the philippines another one of those philippine filipino horrors Love the miniatures, all the little miniature sets and whatnot. Sort of has that kaiju vibe going for it in some of the scenes. Just not as well done as uh, what they did in Japan, so. But yeah, Crocodile, good stuff. Thank you, this is Synapse. Beautiful release, so happy to upgrade that. And then some indie slashers, Cruel Summer and Cruel Summer 2. Check these out. Love my indie slashers. Hopefully we get some good uh, some good gore in these. 
the only reason why I go after these. I'm just in these for the gore, obviously. So yeah, Cruel Summer 1 and 2. And that's appropriate to go after some summer slashers, right? This time of year. So do that. These are from Screen Team Releasing. Some new ones from Screen Team. A Japanese remake of Cube, which I never even knew about, knew existed. So I'm a huge fan of uh, the Cube movies, especially the first one. The first one's just all-time classic, iconic. Um, so Cube, Japanese remake. I hear it's like scene-for-scene scene kind of remake, so... Mm, I don't know. I still think I'll dig it, though. I mean, you know what you're in for, so you... You should know if you're going to like this or not, I would think. So, Cube. Another one from, uh, new one from TerraVision. Another company that's just doing amazing things. So, I can't wait to, like... I don't know what's holding up the other Cube movies and making the leap onto... What? No, the first one has a Blu-ray release, doesn't it? Pretty sure it does. So, I think it's the sequels we're waiting on. So, that's that. Another blind buy, another one I got out in the wild, Dark Skies, alien abduction themed horror film. Uh, some brutal reviews out there for this one, but I'll take a chance. Got this one pretty cheap. Second Charles, fine. Debbie Does Demons. Culture Shock, another awesome company. Doing great things nowadays. Well, they've been putting out fun movies, even even when they were doing just DVDs. So can I show that? No, I can't. it's got some boobs on there. Can't show it. But yeah, Debbie does demons. Dog tees. This one was this one was pretty messed up. I had seen this one finally for the first time. Been wanting to for a few years now. So finally. Got a chance to check out Dog Tooth and uh, great movie. Pretty messed up. Yeah, pretty messed up. Not sure when I'll watch this one again, but I'm glad to have it in the uh, in the collection for sure. That's that. Dracula, the old dirty bastard. I dig that. That's cool. That's fun cover art on that one. And I, this is one I have not seen yet. I'll check that out. It does have reversible cover art. Coming from AGFA. In conjunction with something weird. Feels good to see, um, to still see something weird, you know. So cool. Oh, we'll check that out. It looks to be a lot of fun, so. Yeah, Dracula, old dirty bastard. Duel on the River. This, the runtime on this is not very long. It's, uh, well long enough 80 minutes that's long enough for something like this duel on the river some guy battling against a maniac in a boat got this one from a golden ninja video effects From 1980. Yeah, this is Tom. Z I couldn't remember which effects this was. Yeah, this is the one that Tom Savini one was was involved with. Another upgrade. Uh, from what I remember, it's okay. Um, it's been a few years now. So with that one. Uh, yeah, it was okay. It's not. I need to revisit that one. It has been a while. Endangered species. 
never had this one in my in my collection so finally glad to get this off the uh, wish list uh it had been stuck on a uh, made on demand uh forever i believe from uh warner yeah warner brothers made on demand series of dvds dvdrs and i've been avoiding it for the longest time patience pays off so finally glad to add this onto the shelf so I just I just stopped buying those made on demand discs because I swear uh, the ones that I would buy within a month or two they get announced for a Blu-ray and I was like that's it I quit I'm done <laughs> it's just uh, but when I quit that was years ago so that's about right right when I quit it takes years for these others to start making the leap but the ones that I went after the company was just uh, I don't know just a coincidence, I guess. Uh, Evil Dead Rise, the new one. And yes, I'm the last person on earth that has yet to see this new one. So can't wait to check this out. So it's another one that's been getting mixed reviews I've noticed um, from the original classic. So Evil Dead Rise, um, Warner Brothers celebrating their 100, 100th anniversary. Pretty sure I'll dig it. We'll see. But yeah. And then this one was a lot of fun. I enjoyed this one. E.T. Um, extraterrestrial Visitors, The Second Coming. And I like most of the movies from this director. Um, what's his name? I can't remember the director's name. No. Um, I was thinking of another director. I'm getting mixed up with another movie. Um, so never mind. But yeah, I dug it. I'm glad I took a chance on this one. This is another one from Severin. Again, spitting out a lot of fun stuff. Got a little Severin. And that's... That's part two. I'll come at you with, uh, you know what? I'll go through, I'll go through the apps. Why not? Uh, the Fear. Never seen it. Again, Mondo Macabro schooling me on, on what's out there. That's always appreciated. Uh, check this out for the first time. The Fear. And yes, Frankenstein 80. I'm a big fan of this movie so this one is uh, from cauldron another freaking awesome company love cauldron check that out that is pretty cool oh. replacing my bootleg dvd pretty sure it was a boot it was definitely a gray market sort of dvd um forget who might have been like apprehensive films that they've been on but yeah frank is 980 I'm a fan. Um, it's just my kind of weird, and just I think I like this for the same reason. Uh, I like I watch this with like Anthropophagus or something like back to back. So it's that, and that'll be it for part two. I'll come at you guys with a part three uh, ASAP. So I appreciate you guys' time, and uh, later, uh, keep looking.